Hey everyone, welcome back to the CG Artist Academy and I'm back with a new tutorial and you guys insisted me to create a tutorial about this uh, setup sim so I am here with that I'm gonna show you how I set it up my simulation I will show you in my Houdini file and if you guys want to have this Houdini and Maya file if you want to download it you can go to my Patreon and there you can find the project files including Maya files okay with everything is set it up all you need is download the Houdini file export the mesh and bubbles and import in Maya and it's ready to it's ready for render okay so let's get started let's get back to Houdini and uh, before I started let me show you the final result this was the result okay so yeah now here we are in Houdini and uh, what I did is first of all I have created my collision geometry like this uh, cream kind of model okay how I did it I just created a cone and uh, extruded some faces and applied a, a lattice and rotated the lattice points that's it it's very simple you can easily understand that okay then I subdivided it exported it and imported in the Houdini okay so here it is and then it was just wait a huh? collusion okay you can see that it's hollow then I applied a polyfill node and that's it added a null and called it out collusion that's it nothing much added with this then I created a emitter which is like a sphere with a, with the default values then I applied a transform node to position it around here and scale it 0 0.5 0 0.15 okay then I added a flip source okay and in that flip source the voxel size is 0 0.05 okay and nothing else I did and then I again created a out emitter and uh, I get this and one more thing I did is here in particle separation I just uh, re relative reference the particle separation value in flip solver okay in my top network so it's nothing fancy it's usually we do stuff like this okay so after that I created a top network okay which is here and uh, here it's very simple setup uh, to be very frank <laughs> I mostly use a simple setups I don't get into more complex setups okay so next uh, here I created a flip solver a gravity a merge node static object volume source gas turbulence and a flip object the flip objects it's connected to the first input volume source in the last uh, gas uh, surface tension to the third input okay then I collect connected all it all together with this uh, out node output node and this static object what I did is in the soft path I uh, called my out collision which is this cream node okay cream object cream polygon okay so let's go to the volume source in volume source in the activation I applied frame lower than 65 okay so I all I need is I just need the simulation should be running before 65th frame okay that's it nothing fancy and here I added my emitter in the soft path it's very easy you can go here and select your uh, emitter which have you you created okay it's very simple and uh, in the initialize source flip I selected okay and uh, I don't think so I added some more things over here yeah that's it okay then in the flip object what I did is I used 0 0.002 
for the particle separation and just copied it this copied parameter and went back to the emitter and in this flips source i just paste it as a relative reference so that's why it's both are working same okay and uh, let's go back to the simulation tab okay apart from this in the physical physical tab i have used viscosity with 150 viscosity okay by default it's not enable una to enable viscosity you have to go to your flip solver and go to your volume motion here you will find this viscosity you just need to enable it okay that's it you just enable it and then you can apply the viscosity okay let's go to the flip source flip object again and here i used 150 and uh, else is like as uh, default okay i didn't change anything okay let's go to the flip solver and in the flip solver what i did is uh, in the sub steps maximum sub steps to the four minimum is one that's it particle motion make sure receiving particles is enabled and uh, i guess let's go to the volume motion and here nothing i did only just viscosity thing okay that's it and uh, yeah and gravity is by default 9.8 g and let's see how the simulation comes so as you can see that over here the simulation is coming pretty dense okay and uh, it's good enough for me because these settings work well in my case to achieve this okay i'm not gonna simulate till the end it will take some more time so yeah after this what i did is uh, let's go to our bubbles okay and it will take some time to calculate and you can see that that's how i generated bubbles if you see my earlier tutorials about tutorial about uh, the recent one actually uh, flowing liquid tutorial in that i have like briefed you how i created this it's the same thing okay you can uh, reach that tutorial to get the understanding of how to create the bubbles okay so that's how i created the bubbles and for this uh, mashing part it's fairly simple okay let's wait it will get it will uh, fetch the data again and in this uh, mashing part what i did is i created a particle fluid surface and uh, let's select this i had a particle separation of 0 0.005 as same as the particle separation value and i am not using any adaptivity in this okay and for the filtering i am using smooth and final smooth with this two and two value okay that's it and after that i just exported it as a alembic file you can see that it's very easy okay what i did is um, i just exported 100 to 200 frame okay I, did, I didn't need that the initial part so i hope this is not a um, it, you didn't you guys didn't feel like it's very fast tutorial because it's very simple setup okay you can see that uh, i'll show you let me let me show you it's very simple setup in the flip in a, in, a, in my dop network flip uh, flip object gas turbulence sorry gas surface tension uh, volume source flip solver gravity static object and that's it nothing fancy over here okay and uh, after that what i did is i exported everything and imported in maya i'm using maya because uh, from past around four or five years i am experienced in lighting a load development in maya so that's why mostly i try to create everything in maya but uh, i'm switching back i'm switching to uh, hoodney and in next or upcoming tutorials i will try to create things in hoodney it itself okay so bear with me guys okay i know i know that hoodney is very capable of everything i don't even have to go in other dcc applications but still okay so let's jump into the maya so here we are in maya and before starting to show you the setup i'm saying 
all these files is on my patreon account you can go and grab those files that's why i will get the support from you guys if i say if i may say okay so if you want this file you can go to my patreon account download it and use it as it as you see fit okay and with this these files i will surely uh, uh giving you the hdri and the light maps i'm using okay other than that is completely uh, shaders so you will get that all that information in the maya file and the simulation part you will get from the houdini file okay so let's get back to the setup it's fairly simple i am using a backdrop here okay and uh, uh yeah this is a simple backdrop and here what i did is let me show you my hyper shade okay so here is the bad backdrop okay so it's nothing fancy it's just a color okay this color i needed for my background color okay and i set it up a, a hdri okay with the studio light setup i added a key light over here and in that key light i used a light map okay with the intensity of 6 okay my red shift is a older version that's why it doesn't have exposure and all those information so if you have then definitely you can tweak a bit okay and apart from that i have this ice cream cone okay and for that what i did is uh, okay green i just use this uh map tileable map for the bump and uh, for the color i used this color okay like a creamish color okay and uh, in reflection i had that uh, roughness of around 0.0.5 okay and i guess i used a little bit of surface subsurface also okay so yeah i used it and uh, yeah that's it for the cream part it's very simple i guess i'm not i'm not i didn't use the uh, all i can say a complex shading things with this okay so if you guys are like uh, hoping for or oh, what a complex setup i have used no i mostly i try to use simple setups okay for the bubbles what i did is I, I, it's like a transparent thing so i'm not going to use the diffuse so weight is zero in the reflection there is no roughness okay and ior ior is like uh, index, index of refraction is 1.5 in the refraction i have completely uh weight of 1 and in the transmittance i am using transmittance color okay with the absorption absorption scale of 1 and that's it okay and for this setup okay for this setup in the shader okay same thing almost same thing there is no diffuse because it's a transparent thing we don't need any diffuse okay reflection we don't need any Uh, roughness to that it's completely reflective okay and uh, in the transmission i have weight of 1 samples of 8 okay ior of ior of 1 and in the subsurface i am using transmittance and transmittance color with the absorption scale of 4 like you can see over here okay and the scatter scale is 1 with the scatter cof well uh, cof with white color okay so that's pretty much it and i am using a camera angle like this and that's what i get when i render it okay so you can see that that a little bit of bump you can see in the render okay and you can see those bubble inside it and it's looking pretty good already okay and after that i did some comp uh okay and in the comp i did some cc and grading thing and that's why it's looking like this so that was it that's how i achieved this look and um, i hope you guys like this quick overview of my file how i set it up and render it out okay 
and even in the redshift red settings i am not using uh, much values okay it's like minimum sample of 64 and maximum of 512 i am using these passes occ z diffuse lighting G, uh, global illumination and we i'm using some maths also reflection refraction secondary light uh, specular lighting and sss okay and for this uh, uh, gi i am using brute force okay and uh, brute force gi i am using 16 rays okay not so many samples in everything i try to uh, optimize my scene every time when i every time i'm using uh, these kind of renders okay so i hope you guys uh, like this tutorial and i can say it's not a tutorial it's an overview of how i uh, proceeded my work okay so if you like it don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel and and do visit my patreon account if you want to support it will be really great if you support it okay you can comment below if you have any queries about it and uh, and i'm really thankful you guys you are because of your support i am getting this much exposure okay and thank you for supporting me on uh, patreon i really 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 uh, appreciate your support thank you for supporting me and uh, keep supporting i must say keep supporting and very soon the premium content is coming on patreon because i just started it i am like planning all the things okay so very soon the premium thing also coming and one more tier is going to up for the especially patreon only tutorials okay and patreon patreon only files also okay and in the um, youtube channel i am not going to stop making uh, free tutorials the free tutorials will come okay so don't worry about that and uh, take care of yourself i just heard the recent news the vaccination is coming very soon to all of us for all, for all of us so take care and be healthy try to avoid try uh, try to avoid uh, uh, social gathering uh, maintain social distance wear mask and take care of take care of yourself and your family okay and uh, that's it and one more thing if you want to follow me you can go to my social accounts like uh, behance instagram if you want to okay so take care we'll see you next time bye bye